So the fan reactions are back. I'm back in front of this silly picture. Silly, do you get it? In my kitchen, so that could only mean one thing. Burnley have a new manager and it is Scott Parker. Now, I'll be honest, I never really wanted Scott Parker, but he was higher on my list personally than the likes of Lampard and even Craig Bellamy, as much as I do want Craig Bellamy to stay at the club, Parker was higher than him, but all of them three candidates, in my opinion, were underwhelming. I'm feeling underwhelmed now about the Parker announcement, but he is the manager now of my football club. So I 100% back this man. If Alan Pace has sat through interviews with all the candidates and decided that this man is the best person for the job, that I trust Alan Pace's judgment. He's only hired one manager so far at Burnley Football Club. And if you look at the championship season, he got it spot on. All right, the Premier League season left a little bit to the imagination. And I suspect that might be in future under Scott Parker. I know a lot of people like to look at the reaction to them, uh, the reaction, sorry, from the Fulham and the Bournemouth fans constantly saying they don't like him and how his football's tedious and how he turns fans against him and he, he turns himself on the players and the board. A lot of that negative stuff comes from his time in the Premier League. And a lot of the stuff that I was saying was it's possession for possession's sake is a lot of his his style of play. Now, I'm not going to go as far as saying that's what we did with company because when we clicked on the company, it was possession with a purpose. But when we didn't click on the company, it was possession for possession's sake a lot of the time. Now, we didn't see too much of that in the Championship. But if you cast your mind back to the first 10 games, there was a lot of that. And there was a lot of that in the Premier League as well, just possession for possession's sake. I remember, I think, both trips to Goodison Park, for example, we had more possession than Everton, but did absolutely nothing with it. Um, so, I, I mean, look, <clears throat> he has a good record in this division. Our aim as a football club now is to get out of this division again the right way. So, our aim is to be promoted. Do I think Scott Parker can get us promoted? Yes, do I worry about next uh, next season, though, if we do get promoted? Also, yes. But for now, I think we've got to look at it through the eyes of, he is our manager, we need to back him. I've seen a lot of stuff on Twitter saying, I'm not going, I'm going to rip my season ticket up. Good luck with that, because the season cards these days. I'm not going on, Parker out. It's just ridiculous. If, if you want him to fail, as some people have said, that means you want Burnley to fail. And that is just ridiculous to me. Like, I don't understand that mindset. If, if you genuinely want us to lose games because you want Parker to fail, then you are not a Burnley fan, in my opinion. I saw somebody say uh, they want us to lose against Blackburn, so then the fans turn on him. What? Are you insane? Back the manager. Back the club. Back the manager. He's our manager now. Back him. I think he gets it out of this division. I do worry, if I'm honest, about the first few games because it took company a while to get used, that his players to get used to the style and the system. And I think Parker will have a similar issue. We've got some big games early on. Luton, first game, obviously. Not long after that, we've got Blackburn. Not long after that, we've got Leeds. So I do worry about the, the, the opening 10, 15 games. But over the course of the season, over, over all the way, the, the nine months, whatever it is, I think I, I think we'll go up. I think we'll go up. But I, I probably would have felt like that with pretty much anybody apart from Lampard, really. So, again, that's not really singing Parker's praises. But with the squad of players that we have, provided we obviously don't go on and, and decimate the squad and sell five, six, seven first teamers, I don't think we will. I think we might see a couple leave. But I, thought we, I don't think we're going to completely decimate it. I do think we'll be there thereabouts under Parker. And I, and I could see us finishing top two. If I'm honest, at the very minimum, I think we finish top six and then obviously playoffs a lot of rest. So I don't really want that, but I would like to see us finish top two. But yeah, just going back to the appointment, I'm, I'm also slightly relieved that we finally got a man, our man, well, not our man, but a manager, Burnley's man, I suppose, but not the fans man. So I'm relieved it's finally done. I just don't understand why it took so long to appoint an, a, an out of work manager. I mean, I get. Pace and AOK and the rest of the board, they've got to do their due diligence. Obviously, I get that. But if you're going to employ an out-of-work manager and Parker was one of the first names on the list, and it shouldn't have really taken this long. It probably could have been done after two and a half weeks, three weeks at a push. 
So I'm surprised it's taken this long for us to just employ an out-of-work manager. But he's here now. Let's look to the future. Hopefully, he has tweaked his style because his style does worry me because we've got a squad of players for a certain style. So that, that does worry me slightly. But he may have learned from his time at Fulham in the Premier League. He may have learned from his time at Bournemouth. That's what we kept saying so much about company last year. He's going to learn from this. He'll be better next season. Hopefully, Parker's learned from it. Let's not talk about his record at Club Bruges. I saw Club Bruges fans say he was their worst manager in the club's history. He obviously didn't do very well there. So, yeah, hopefully he's learned from that as well. And he's taken some time out as well. So I presume he'll have been doing some, you know, studying or whatever and and looking at different styles and different philosophies and stuff like that. So he may well tweak his style. He may well come in, see how, see the types of players that we have at the club and think that his certain style, his sort of like on the back foot negative sort of style, it, it isn't going to work with these type of players. I think these players in the, in the Championship need to be on the front foot. They need to be going at teams. And I think a good manager will look at this team and adapt and, and think, right, this team needs to be teching the game two teams because that's the type of players we've got. But yeah, like I said, I'll be honest, a little bit underwhelmed, uh, but I remember feeling underwhelmed when Dyche came in. Uh, I know, obviously, Dyche, you know, he's, he's proving himself to be a very good manager and Parker's not done so well in the Premier League yet, but back him. It's time to back him. I do think we get out of this division, but I do worry for next season. But look, if we're having a conversation in 12 months' time about we are worried about how we're going to do in the Premier League because the manager hasn't done very well in the Premier League before, then that shows we've done something right. We've done half the job. We've got out of the division again. So, yes, I am a little bit anxious about how we're going to fare in the Premier League if you know we're there again. But if, if we're having this debate in 12 months' time, then then that's a good thing, right? That shows that we've we've got into the Premier League and and, and obviously we've got out of this out, out, out of this division that, that we need to get out of. So, yeah. Let's back him. I trust Alan Pace. He's got he got the company one right for me. Um, so I back him. I back the club. And I, I, Scott Park is our manager now. So I back him 100% behind him. It's it's it, My worry is because of the negative reaction from the fans is that he won't get as much time. He won't get as much patience from the fans that company did. And without that patience in the first, like I said, 10, 12, 15 games of company's reign, then he may well have been given the boot with a with a harsher board and a harsher set of fans. So that worries me slightly. I'm hoping the fans can give him the time to adapt, can give him the time to get his feet under the table. Because I think he may well need it. But yeah, back him, please. We need to we need to back him. We need to we need to back this football club and fingers crossed he can get it right as well. Because he needs to as well. Like, obviously if he's if he turns out to be atrocious, I'm not gonna be sitting here in, in 20 games after calling for patience. If if we lose 18 out of 20, I'm obviously going to be calling for him. But yeah, we need to back him. We need to give him the time. We need to give him the patience to let him implement his ideas on this squad. Hopefully, we can get out of this division, but fingers crossed we can. And like I said, I think we will.